Orcus Cat and today me and Slapstick 2.9, otherwise known as Derek. Derek. Dirk. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a combination lock for your doors in Minecraft. Uh, it's especially useful for a server, but uh, you need to like, deny access to this back part in here if you were going to do it. Now, the code for this door is 246, so as we can see, 2. Four. Now the door still isn't open, and now six. And there we go. There's a slight delay on it because there's a few repeaters and a lot of redstone. Any need. <laughs> <laughs> and if we were to turn on one here, the door would close because that's obviously not the right code. Um, before I get into the actual circuitry that goes into making it, I want to break down the components, uh, like each subsection of it. Uh, this first thing, which I've highlighted in orange wool, you can see orange wool over there too. This is an AND gate, and what that does is, whenever both the inputs are on, so will the output. So if I turn on this lever here, this torch turns off and the door won't open. And if I turn on this lever, yes it will open. If I turn this off, the door closes. Turn this off. So there's only one state that these are on this will be on. This next one is a NOT gate or an inverter. Okay, it turns on whenever the input's off. Ta -ta. Again I've highlighted it in green wool over here. And this is an OR gate. I haven't used it in this. I thought I was going to use it but didn't need it. But it's good to show it anyway because it's one of the main gates. Now what an OR gate does is whenever you turn on one of the inputs door opens. Whenever both inputs are on, the door remains open and whenever this one's off but this one's on, the door remains open. If you want it to just turn on whenever one of them's on, what you need to build is an exclusive OR gate which is a bit more complicated than these other gates but it's not too far hard to find, you can go google it. And if you want to make like the AND uh, a NAND gate, all you have to do is remove this torch and put a redstone piece down. And same over here. Ta da! Now, the last piece or component of the circuit is vertical redstone, which can be achieved by putting a block, a uh, redstone torch, and another block, and just repeating that up as high as you want. So, as you see, whenever I turn this off or on, this torch goes off, this comes on, this goes off, well there's no torch there but if you had another layer it would. And then the door opens like magic. <coughs> and now in here, the first thing you need to do is, before you make it, you need to figure out what code do you want and like just write it down on paper and set out for yourself what do you want to do. So as we can see here, the way we built this is, we had the switches we wanted on, or the codes we wanted on, so 6, 4 and 2 are on right here, and what we did was turn them on, and then what you need to do is, up here, at the ones that aren't going to be on, you need to put an inverter gate. So what this does is, since this is on, this is off, this will be transformed to on, and then all you do is put an AND gate, which means if this is correct and this is correct, then the output will be correct as well. And then you do the same thing over here with these two other ones. This is correct, and this is correct, this will be correct. And then to combine this, you need to have another AND gate, and then another AND gate, and if all these AND gates output like a one signal or an on signal, then that'll mean that the code is correct. It's a little bit cumbersome, all the circuitry, but you know, it gets the job done and you can Google for ways to make it a bit simpler. Uh, like this, this circuitry here could be compacted a lot. It's just we, I wanted to space it out so everyone can see. Would you like to add anything direct to that? You've been awfully quiet. <laughs> I'm mooning you. Thanks. <laughs> we. Um, you shouldn't need to use an OR gate. I'm trying to think of 
Well, you could use an OR gate if you had multiple of these, and you can bind them into an OR gate. So if you want to have multiple passwords, like say, Derek uses the code uh, one two three to get in, and then I use the code two four six to get in, I can make both of those acceptable, and then attach this circuit here to this part of the OR gate, and attach Derek circuit to this part of the OR gate. Indeed. Ta-da! Isn't this amazing? <laughs> and look off. Now I'm not sure why there is such a delay. Like I thought the redstone repeaters were causing it, but then I tried to swap on these out for redstone torches and the inverters to try and make it go faster, but I don't know why it doesn't seem to be. Is it not just the time for the signal to get across the entire circuit? It should be pretty instantaneous. I thought it was instantaneous. It might be lag on the server though. Maybe. I'll, I'll there is a there's a mod thing. there's a mod that you can come that you like can compact like eight blocks down to like a single block. Oh yeah, the wee tiny circuits and all. No. Right. It would be class if you could build a circuit full size and then mush it into a few wee blocks. Mush I mush it into a tiny thing. <laughs> That'd be like it's I don't know. I don't know if the delay would be that long. Would be there still, but uh, the probably delay would. probably would be there. I don't know if it's intentional or not. They should fix it. But anyway, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it like cleared a few things up about redstone circuitry. And uh, if you know the basics of these logic gates, and the wiki page is absolutely fantastic for learning about it. If you just like learn how to build. Um, 555 timers, how to do a latch, you can you can pretty much build everything. Technology at its best. I know. We're, we were just finished a technology exam today and we thought, yeah, we're qualified to do this. Even though we <laughs> haven't got results yet and we'll probably fail, but... <laughs> uh, that was actually so bad. Yeah, it was pretty... Yeah, it was fine. It wasn't there was this stuff in it and I got the not gates and what not right. Me and mm. Derek for one of the questions, like, it was absolutely ridiculous. We wrote the exact same thing. We drew the exact same diagram and we made up a name for a thing that didn't exist and it was the exact same name. We called it a stopper. <laughs> we're, we're just bosses. Oh, we're hi. just amazing people. Well, leave it down in the comments section what you'd like us to do next and enjoy. Bye. Bye.